Welcome to How to Grow a Mustache with Cody! No, no, no. Cody, <laughs> Cody. No, this is Sunday Morning Live. I'm your host, Mr. Matt. Welcome back, kids. Sorry, Mr. Matt. I was just really excited about my new mustache. Oh, uh, Cody. Where did your go? Where's your mustache? Mustaches are so last week. Uh, no, they're not. Well, yours is pretty cool. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my wife it didn't like It comes off mine really so easy. Oh, it does? Yeah. Here, try. Let's see. Ah! Oh, look at that. It does. <laughs> You want no, to, I have you want half to, stash. You want to wear a half stash? No. Can you get the you other grab side? Grab the whole thing. Ah! Nice. Ah! Velcro Thanks. stash. Nice. <laughs> it works so good. Yeah. Mr. Matt, why did you shave yours off? Well, my wife didn't really like it too much. Oh, yeah. I can understand that. Do you, do you think it was uh, really warm? Yeah, it is kind of warm when it's... Uh, yeah, it was like a side. rug for your lip. <laughs> yeah. I kept the soul patch, though. Yeah, I like it. Say, Cody, I got some bad news for you. Uh, what's that? Uh, I can't stick around today. I got to leave. Oh, why? Where are you going? I'm going on a little family trip. Oh, cool. Where? I'm going to the beach. We're going to the beach? We're going to the beach? Okay, hold on. Oh, boy. How am I going to tell him we have no room? I even have goggles too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, my glasses. Sorry to tell you, Cody, but uh, we really don't have any extra space in the van. What? So, um, sorry, but you can't come along. I can ride in the trunk. No, uh, the trunk is really packed full of stuff. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty small. Yeah, I know you're pretty small, but uh, we're packed in there pretty tight. Oh. Well, Cody, uh, don't you ever want to try to do things on your own? Like, like what? Like tie my shoes? Yeah, you know, like by yourself. Yeah. You know, independent. In. Independent, Mr. Matt. Yeah. What's independent mean? Well, it just means that you can do things all by yourself. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So do you think you could, could handle Sunday Morning Live without me? Maybe. Maybe I should start something with, like, in my own life. Yeah. Like, maybe I should try to make my own food or shelter or something like that. Who knows? So you go to the beach, and I guess I, I'll go camping. I love to camp. I'll yeah. try that. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, that should be fun. I, uh, I'm going to leave a video with you uh, in case you need a little help along the way. But uh, I got to go. All right. Oh, okay. That sounds all right. All right. Have Bye, fun. Bye, Mr. Matt. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Mr. Matt. Oh. Well, I hope he has a good trip. I'm going to go get ready for outside. Here we go. All right, let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to How to Live in the Wild with Cody. I'm going to try to be more independent, just like Mr. Matt said. I even brought a tent. But I forgot to bring food, so we have to find our own. Here we go. Is that what I think it is? Oh, let's go get it. Uh, I dropped my hat. Uh, but here it is. It is. It's a natural cluster of Oreos. I'm going to be set. This is going to be the best night ever. Yummy.
Step one, get the frame in place. <laughs> Check. Then make sure you have your Oreos. <laughs> Check. I found my hat. Now we need to put the, the rain fly on just in case it rains. Hey, here we go. <laughs> then we can get inside. All right, let's go eat some Oreos. <laughs> I need more Oreos. So hungry. Let's go see if there are any at the Oreo tree. Uh oh. The bear's gonna get me. The bear's gonna get me. Roar! Roar! Not today, bear. Not today. Now do that. Roar! 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 Here we go! Roar! <gasps> that bear is so fast! I know! I need to get back into my tent! Then I'll be safe! Ha! <laughs> bear can't find me here! <clears throat> now do that! It's getting pretty late, and I can still hear the bear outside. So, I think I'm going to watch that video Mr. Matt sent me. Hey, Cody. The stories I'm going to tell you today are uh, taken from the Bible, from 1 Samuel chapter 24 and 26, two times when Saul was chasing after David. Saul's life spared. David went up and lived in the desert of En Gedi. When it was told Saul that David was in the desert of En Gedi, Saul took 3,000 chosen men from all Israel and set out to look for David and his men. One day when David and his men were far back in a cave, Saul went into this very same cave alone. David's men said to him, This is the very day the Lord spoke of when he said, I will give your enemy into your hands. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off a corner of Saul's robe. David said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, for he is the Lord's anointed. With these words, David rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul. Saul left the cave and went his way. Then David went out of the cave and called out to Saul, My lord, the king! When Saul looked behind him, David bowed with his face to the ground. He said to Saul, Why do you listen when men say, David is bent on harming you? This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. See, my father, look at this piece of your robe in my hand. I cut off the corner of your robe, but did not kill you. May the Lord judge between you and me, but my hand will not touch you. When David finished saying this, Saul asked, Is that your voice, David, my son? And he wept aloud. You are more righteous than I, he said. May the Lord reward you well for the way you treated me today. I know that you will surely be king and that the kingdom of Israel will be established in your hands. Now swear to me by the Lord that you will not cut off my descendants or wipe out my name from my father's family. So David gave his oath to Saul. Then Saul returned home. The second story is called Saul's Life Spared Again. The Ziphites went to Saul at Gibeah and said, Is not David hiding on the hill of Hakilah? So Saul went down to the desert of Ziph with his 3,000 chosen men of Israel to search there for David. Saul made his camp beside the road on the hill of Hakilah. Then David set out and went to the place where Saul had camped. He saw where Saul and Abner, the commander of the army, had laid down. David then asked, Who will go down into the camp with me to Saul? 
I'll go with you, said Abishai. So David and Abishai went to the army by night. And there was Saul, lying asleep inside the camp with his spear stuck in the ground near his head. Abner and the soldiers were lying around him. Abishai said to David, Today God has delivered your enemy into your hands. Now let me pin him to the ground with one thrust of my spear. But David said to Abishai, Don't destroy him. Who can lay a hand on the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? Now get the spear and water jug that are near his head and let's go. So David took the spear and water jug near Saul's head and they left. No one saw or knew about it, nor did anyone wake up. They were all sleeping because the Lord had put them into a deep sleep. Then David crossed over to the other side and stood on top of the hill some distance away. He called out to the army and to Abner, Aren't you going to answer me, Abner? Abner replied, Who are you who calls to the king? David said, You're a man, aren't you? And who is like you in Israel? Why didn't you guard your lord the king? Someone came to destroy your lord the king. As surely as the Lord lives, you and your men deserve to die because you did not guard your master, the Lord's anointed. Look around you. Where are the king's spear and water jug that were near his head? Saul recognized David's voice and said, Is that your voice, David, my son? David replied, Yes, it is, my lord the king. And he added, Why is my lord pursuing his servant? What have I done, and what wrong am I guilty of? Then Saul said, I have sinned. Come back, David, my son, because you considered my life precious today. I will not try to harm you again. Surely I have acted like a fool and have erred greatly. May you be blessed, my son David. You will do great things and surely triumph. Finally! Now I think I can go to sleep. In the morning, I'm going to go see Mr. Matt. <clears throat> oh, what a great vacation. It's so relaxing. So get, good to get away. I wonder what Cody did while I was gone. Why don't we call him out? You ready? One. Two, three. Ka, 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 Cody. 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 Hey, Cody. Hey, Mr. Matt. How was your trip? It was great. Yeah? What did you do? I went to the beach. Oh, did you scuba dive? No scuba diving. Did you snorkel? No snorkeling. Did you use a metal detector to find secret treasures? That would have been a good idea, but no, I was just laying oh, around. I was lazy. Time, maybe next time if you bring me, then we can use a metal detector and find secret treasures. That sounds pretty fun. <clears throat> so uh, what were you doing while I was gone? Oh, oh, you would never believe it, Mr. Matt. What'd you do? So I went camping right outside in nature. <laughs> have you ever been in nature? Yes, I have. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so cool, they might want to call it Nietzsche. Get it? Because it's so neat. Because it's neat. Yeah, Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Ha. <laughs> so, anyways, there I was, minding my own business, you know, gathering food and things like that. And guess what came by? I don't know. A skunk? Nope. Hmm. A raccoon. Uh, nope. Hmm. Park ranger? Ah, <laughs> no. You would never... It was a bear! Oh. A big bear! A bear? Yeah, it was, I think it was bigger than you, Mr. Matt. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was so scared. You know, and that's that's actually when I watched your movie that you gave me. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because, so, I was chased and hunted down by the bear. Yeah, you were. Just like how David was hunted by King Saul. But the bear, but the bear wasn't looking for me. 
Not like King Saul was looking for David. And that's, and then you reminded me that, you know, David wasn't scared because he had, he knew God would protect him. Yeah. And yeah. so I, I thought, I don't need to be scared. Yeah, you know, there's, there's like another lesson that you could learn besides that. Really? Yeah, you could actually learn on not to get revenge on your enemies, right? You should just let God take care of that, right? So Instead like, of getting revenge. because the bear scared me, I shouldn't hunt it with a harpoon. Uh, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't go after the bear. Oh, so like, I'm not supposed to take revenge on the bear. So maybe I have to do something nice, like, should I go and feed it? Should I bring food to the bear? Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Oh. No, I think it would be a much better idea to feed your faith. Feed my faith. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? It means that you need to spend time reading God's word. Oh. And, yeah, and talking about it with other people. Why? Uh, because that is how faith gets stronger. Like, like strong like a person trying to lift something heavy? No, it's strong as in you're not just going to easily fall away. Oh, God. or forget. Yeah, or forget, yeah. Oh, okay. So the more you're in contact with God's word, uh, the harder it is to fall away. Or, or forget about it when I'm scared because of a bear chasing me. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. So I just need to spend more time in God's Word. Absolutely, we all do. Well, you know what? I think that Mr. Kyle probably has a song about that. Yeah? Why don't we, why don't we sing a song about feeding your faith? Okay. All right. You ready to do a cutscene? Yep. Ready? Ready. Three. Two. One. And, and now it's time for... Funny Songs with Mr. Heisey, the part of the show where we steal a segue from a children's cartoon. Hey folks, welcome back. We're going to sing a, a song today about just what Cody and Mr. Matt were talking about. You guys were talking about feeding your faith, and we're going to do that. This song is called Eat Right. Rock, I got a clean heart, pure mind, standing on the promises, say it again! Eat right, grow strong, face to the sun, got my feet on the rock, I got a clean heart, pure mind, standing on the promises. Temptation lies without within, face to the sun, got my feet on the rock, put God provides in his kingdom. On the promises, oh, that's the promise that's been given to you. I gotta do what I gotta do. Believe in fevers, oh, believe in the Lord. But I ground myself in His holy word. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta eat right, grow strong. Face to the sun, got my feet on the rock. I got a clean heart, pure mind. Standing on the promises, say it again. Be right, grow strong. Face to the sun, got my feet on the rock. I got a clean heart, pure mind. Standing on the promises. In Christ there is no condemnation. Face to the sun, got my feet on the rock. Death becomes a celebration. Standing on the promises. Oh, that's the promise that. What I gotta do Believe deceivers Or believe in the Lord But I ground myself In His holy word Yeah, 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 yeah I gotta eat right Grow strong Face to the sun Got my feet on the rock I got a clean heart Pure mind Standing on the promises Say it again Eat right Grow strong Face to the sun Got my feet on the rock I got a heart, pure mind, standing on the promises, whatever you ask me to do, face to 
in the sun, got my feet on the rock. You find in him, he'll abide in you. Standing on the promises. Oh, that's a promise that's been given to you. I gotta do what I gotta do. Believe deceivers or believe in the Lord. But I found myself in his holy word. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta eat right. Thanks, guys. Singing again! Oh, man, I love that song. That was fun. Sure was. Man, you have some good rhythm, Mr. Matt. <laughs> you give me too much credit. I can't <laughs> shake that shaker. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> well, I guess all you have to do is just practice something and you get better at it. True. Like, I'm really, really good at eating Oreos. <laughs> and in fact, I have some Oreos. Oh, Downstairs. Yeah? Downstairs? Yeah, do you want some? Absolutely, I do. Oh, cool. <laughs> Oreo! Snack time. Woo! All right, let's go right now. Okay, but let's pray first. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to fold our hands. And bow our heads. And bow <clears throat> our heads. Dear God, we thank you so much for the chance that we get each day to study your word and get stronger in our faith. Thank you for the stories that we had today that taught us that you're always with us and always helping and protecting us. Please continue to be with us every single day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank you for Oreos. Amen. <laughs> thank you for those Oreos. Uh, all right, ready? Yep. Oh, we should probably say goodbye first. Oh, yes. Let's do that. All right, bye, kids. Bye, kids. I hope you get some Oreos, too. Bye. God's blessings miss to you. you. We'll see you next time. I miss you. Bye. You should go get some Oreos. Mm. Goodbye. Go home. Go to bed. Take a nap. Clean your room. Oh, you just want me to say goodbye again. Goodbye! Bye. Miss you.